Look! We have a strategy! Caroline had a plan! Now, to liberate the United States of America! To free the U.S. and use it as a platform to liberate the rest of the world! And this is what we are going to do! For Caroline! And what about this one? Can we trust her? Hello. <laughs> yes? Chance, I guess. I, she saved my life. She saved Captain Blaskowitz, too. Now... Caroline had established radio contact with an American resistance group in New York City. Now, we need to Do you find allow this blacks on board? To our cause. We need to make <gasps> oh my god. How did that man get in here? No. Everyone is allowed on this boat. Despite Except Nancy. The Bonafide war again. There you go, Mr. Hmm. And our first priority is to set course for New York. Cultural differences! Them's charges! Well. So much for getting away. I hear surface breaches. Multiple surface breaches. It's from our angle. How in the world is she tracking this? Someone inside your robot is transmitting your position. What did you say? The Ausmerzer has been receiving messages from someone in your boat. That's how we found you. That's impossible. Section F. No way. Uh, there it is, Section F. <laughs> but there is no Section F. The maps are not accurate. We've looked and there's no door there. Uh, what if there is? What if someone is hiding in there transmitting that signal, huh? Cap, you see yes, a team. Yes, ten Nazis in a closet. I'll see you the way. Must be here. Move this locker. Weld the shot from the other side. Here come in. Take this. Wyatt came up with a basic concept. The design is not ay ay ay, it's experimental, but it will be very useful. Does this end kill Nazis? Oh, enthusiastically so. Not sure it will. The BJ Blaster with seal of approval. When you are done, big man. Okay, so what the hell is this? Diesel craft work. Ah, yes, now we are diesel punk. Uh, diesel craft works Blitzen diesel canister ammunition sticks to walls and enemies on impact. These canisters can be remotely de detonated. Dual wielding the diesel craft work automatically detonates the canisters on impact. Dual wield. I only have one of these. Okay. All right, so. Boom. And then William, you have to find the transmitter and shut it down. Right. Or the depth charges will rupture our hull. It's literally powered by diesel fuel. Well, that's metal as fuck. Okay, so let's go clear out this section. We've made a mistake. On the floor plan, section F just looks like a little laundry room. We looked for it when we first searched the U-boat after you captured it, but we didn't see the entrance door. And with all the things we were worrying about back then, I suppose we didn't bother looking too closely. But now I've re-examined the floor plan and there's a reference to a completely different document. The engineering map of section F. I'll report back as soon as I find it. Okay, well now, good, good. Everybody kind of died because nobody was paying attention to that one, but you know what? Now we're gonna fix our mistakes here and figure out exactly what is in Section F of the Ava's Hammer. Hmm, what's this? It's all that Miller's Journal. March 12th, I think. 1961. Been trapped down here for several months now. I keep thinking about jo uh, Johan, a true German warrior. He was a hero, gunned down like a martyr by that big monster, mur murderous ape Blaskowitz. People like him, communists, anarchists, degenerates, they need to be exterminated from this planet. Just like the Fuhrer said, we are superior, strongest and bravest. We are not afraid of them. Earth belongs to us. I wonder how long we have... I, won I wonder how long I will have to pee in this bucket. Not going to the toilet by the entrance to section F, in case he comes back. Shooting people. 
And we'll just keep peeing in here for now. Until help arrives. Yes! The strongest, bravest rulers of the world! The master race! Now excuse me as I piss in this bucket in the bottom of this boat. Dignity! <laughs> oh, Nazis, it's so much fun to dehumanize you on several levels. Mainly because nobody gives a shit. I mean, I suppose Nazis come, you know, they give a shit, but well, look at what they signed up with. They should probably, um, rebrand. I like how they're still talking, even though I made that guy explode. With my, apparently, napalm stick grenades. It's probably what these are. Ah! See, I heard, I heard the pitter-patter of Nazi boots. Good. Okay. Hmm. Doesn't seem like I missed anything. We're gonna have to. We're, we're, we're gonna have to find another charging station to, uh, you know, top off the diesel monster here. Oh. Apparently, I lodged that man's arm inside his chest. Good lord, this thing is enthusiastic at killing Nazis. That's energy! I need fuel, dammit! I need diesel in my veins! But now where do we go? Ah. Do we have to do something about this? I don't think it's gonna saw open... Oh, wait a minute. Pipe. Yes! Pipe! We must remove pipe. Actually, no, we don't need to remove pipe. We just gotta blow this up. Fire and all! William, I found the engineering map. Palace tank, nuclear warheads stockpile. Oh my god. Section F stretches along the entire hull of the U boat, and we're on the biggest U boat in the world, so this section is gigantic. Oh. Some of it must serve as a main ballast tank or something because it's a massive volume. Be careful, William. No telling how many Nazis could be hiding in there. So basically... <laughs> so basically, we came down here and we captured the boat, but apparently the Nazis had an entirely different fucking hull. Apparently they stole the designs from the Typhoon. Double everything. This is why it's the biggest... This is why it is, in fact, the biggest U-boat in the Navy, because it's actually two boats inside of one. Only German engineering, ladies and gentlemen. The ultimate redundancy. When one boat sinks, the other one apparently sails away. Ah! Ah, and now that I mention it, as I was walking through that hallway and through all of this, this is, in fact, a double hull. This is what the internals of this one looks like. I know that pretty basically from the Titanic, which is probably, well, sunken ships were my first autism, so I know a teensy bit about this kind of stuff, but yes, this is in fact an actual double hull. Looks like a very large double hull, to be honest, and also it's leaking, so, um, hmm. maybe not the most properly designed double hull, this is what it's supposed to do. Okay, is there anything down here? I have a flashlight. That's kind of annoying. Well, whatever. We go over here. Also, I like how they're still, uh, still, uh, making a crippled man walk around. William, those Nazis have been surviving in there ever since you captured the U-boat five months ago. They must be starving and desperate. Stay safe, darling. Uh-huh. Okay. 
Huh. Okay, so apparently the walls are in fact soundproof, and it's just a really big boat, so nobody really knows it's the whole width of the big boat. That's kind of dystopian. But, uh... Knock, knock, boys! Oh, that's inconvenient. I wonder what he's gonna notice, the glowing thing I just attached to his ass! He didn't notice. That was a commander, too. <laughs> I'm kind of amazed that that guy just kind of walked away. What's this? Is this fuel? It is fuel. Good. Diesel. Where did he go? I like how they have use of the intercoms inside the the imaginary boat that they have here. <laughs> okay. Hey, stop blocking my shots. Ah, damn it, I'm out of diesel. Damn it! Somebody's still over there. William, I took a closer look at the stockpile of nuclear warheads in Section F. According to the engineering map, there's dozens of warheads in there. Let's hope the Nazis haven't ah. tampered with them. Because, you know, why wouldn't they want to blow up the boat? Um, hmm. That took a while to actually grab that, but okay. That, I didn't want to do that. Give me that back. Do we have a weapon? Yes, we do have a weapon wheel. Okay, good. Right. Okay, where? This is fuel. Why can I use it? But it's probably empty. Damn it. Okay, where, 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 where do we go? I like how they're giving me energy, but, um, I don't have anything that actually uses energy right now. Um, hmm. All right, I can use the... That, the Isaac Clark super slam to open things rather than wasting ammo or, you know, axes. Looks like everything's cleared out over here. So, let's keep going. Now, let's see here. Ah, right. <sighs> Caroline. Don't think I'm gonna make it. You'll be fine. You're wearing a you Jewish suit of armor. Baby. With your grace. You'll be fine, Blaskowitz. The touch and phrase of a woman is very strong, but I think you're gonna be fine. Huh. Frank a postcard. My dearest Hans, you should see this. American colony the American colonies is a paradise. I'm staying at a hotel in Honolulu. It's a beautiful it's beautiful, and the locals are very are friendly to me. Right. The glory of the Reich has truly blessed this place. Pretty sure Hawaii was still pretty okay, even before the Nazi regime, but okay, fine, take credit for it. Still, when I take the girls out to the harbor to buy ice cream, and I see all the U-boats and ships coming back to port, I think of you, my love, remembering how proud you were when you got stationed on the Ava's Hammer. I hope you are safe out there, and that I can be in your arms again soon. The girls wonder if you have seen a mermaid yet. I miss you. All my love. Franca. Like I said... The touch, and of, the touch and care of a woman is a very, very strong thing. Hmm. Apparently I cannot climb up there. What's over here, though? That, God damn it. Get up there! Good. God, this Jewish suit of armor is starting to become more clumsy than the wheelchair. Okay, this doesn't go anywhere.
Okay, I want to get over there, but it doesn't look like I can actually get over there. Actually, I have no idea where the hell I'm supposed to go. Oh, hi there. Please pay no mind to the... <laughs> to the very, very large Jewish American in the Jewish suit of armor. See? Nothing there. Go back to work. Okay, I can't get over here. Abs absolutely nothing! I said it's nothing! Well, there goes that plan. Actually, you know what? I'll read the newspaper after I'm done killing everyone in the area. But it seems like pretty much did that already. Where the fuck are they? Nazi radio room ahead. Gotta find a way in. Hmm. Ah! Fuel. Also, uh, this might be a little bit questionable, but it seems like, quite honestly, it seems like the Section F was retrofitted into the boat. I think that would be actually kind of impossible, but maybe it was just a plan to actually write off the engineering sections out of the map. Maybe. Possibly. Oh, huh? this looks like a way to go. Oh, hi there. Okay, then. It's a strangely annoying yet strangely soothing sound. What's this? Taj Butch. Hey, Unknown Commandant's Journal. Day 13. Hold up in here for almost two weeks now. Like rats at our own new boat. We'll sketch out a plan with Commandant Fisher. That degenerate terrorist surprised us, but we are soldiers of the Reich, bred, into, bred in battle and forged in combat. We will get out of here and eradicate these subhumans for good. Day 39. Looks like we're going to be here a while. <laughs> there are too many... Uh, there are too many for us to handle right now. We are low on ammo, too much risk involved. Fisher will try to get the communication system working. Day 54. The men are getting desperate. The air is getting stale, pungent. My uniform itches. I, I try to sleep, but I wake up every minute. Sometimes by the men screaming from their awful nightmares. Many of them have seen things no man should see. Day 85. Rations are running low. Some of the men have started hallucinating. Fritz was trying to write to his mom this morning. Problem is that she's been dead for 10 years. Must keep a lookout for the rest to make sure none of them, none of them loses it completely. They would, ha they would be of no use for us if they, it, well, if we have to fight the terrorist. Johan will go find some spare parts for the communication system. Day 98, I'm losing my mind. Clean my uniform five times already and still, it still itches. We'll need to take it off. When we are rescued, I will put it back on, so I can look respectable during the award ceremony. Day... I lost count. Fisher managed to get the communication system working. He has sent multiple... He sent me messages to the Oberkommando. This is it. They will rescue us. Never lose faith in the Reich. Day... Question mark, question mark, question mark. What is Commander F Fisher... Uh, Commandant Fisher doing? He welded himself into the control room with the, com uh, the communication system. Paranoid, accusing us of trying to interfere with the transmission. He has completely lost it. The men are saying they heard some c commotion by the Section F entrance. Probably nothing. Ha! Uh, he did actually barricade himself in here. How about that? Good job, Command. Good job, Commandant. Good job. Okay, this is apparently the radio. So, um... I'm just gonna assume we just kind of shoot everything. So, uh... Thank you, William. Yep. The Ausmerz is losing track of us now. Find your way back to the locker room. Bombate will let you out of there. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Everything's kind of fuck. Whoa! That's a problem. Oh, 
Also, I just realized I'm dual wielding a submachine gun and a rifle at the same time. Innovation! Ow, 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 ow. I am running low on hit points. Did I get him? I think I got him. Also, now that I see this, or rather saw that guy, I think I might be able to snag one of those laser rifles. Yes, good, laser gewehr. Yes, yes. Why these weren't on the original boat, I have no idea, but okay. Retcon! Obviously, they're hiding all of the all of the absolutely most advanced technology in the double hull of this boat, in case of emergencies. Okay, so now we got this. This is charged. Let's get the hell out of here. We got full health. More than full health. Well, it seems like uh, Blaskowitz's shins have improved. Good. Fantastic. What's in here? There's a recharge station. Thank God. Ammo. Let's see here. More ammo, more ammo, already maxed out, so let's go. Gotta get that Enigma card, dude, two, let's see here. Not sure where they're, what they're gonna be useful for, but yeah, sure, fine. This way, right, this way. Can I carry this up there, though? Nope, well, what a shame. What a shame. Okay, up, 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 up. Huh. Okay, now we're just in a normal boat now. Well, in the normal sections of the boat. That was rather quick. Uh oh. Dad! Well, this thing's just falling apart, and now I'm just back in the normal con. Well, now I'm back here now. Should get out of here now. Yeah, yeah, I should. I should leave. There was a this 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 incredibly large Nazi submarine had a well a dungeon inside of it where they well where there were several probably about let's be sort of realistic here probably about twenty to thirty Nazis down here sli maybe slightly more wasn't keeping count but yeah that was a thing it's kind of interesting too very creative. See, that's the thing. This game is completely ridiculous, but at least it's creative when it's being completely ridiculous. Well done, Blaskowitz. Come. Everyone is gathered. You're gonna bury her in a torpedo? Like that. A life. All they've known. All they've felt. All the shit they've gone through. All of it gone. A very moment. Very, very abrupt stop. Like water. Like it never was. But BJ, water always was. Water is a thing. Water is something that exists. This metaphor doesn't work properly. Hey, but I get what you're saying. Life is fragile, and Come it just suddenly Captain. stops. Service, why? I just... Look, I couldn't do it, okay? It's too much. Caroline meant more to me than anybody else on this damn ship, and now everyone is expecting me to pick up the torch. All right? Yeah, I mean, look at me, man. I can't even find a pair of headphones. 
All right, I failed the leadership course at Harvard, for Pete's sake. I know I put him in here for somewhere. Where the heck are they? Oh, We're still doing this, aren't we? Ringing out stuff, for Christ's sake. You can't give up, Why? We don't do that. I'm not stupid, Captain. I saw the look in your eye up there when Frau Angle had you under her thumb. All right, the fire has gone out, and you are just on autopilot now until you hit the wall. Am I wrong, Captain? Oh, thank God. I, uh... I salvaged some stuff at Jay's, you know, from the old Berlin hideout. Some old recordings and things, just, um, just for keepsake. That boy could play the hell out the guitar, huh? Yeah. Jimmy was a legend. I'll see you around later, Captain. That looks like it might be a little bit painful, hey, but Captain. well, there you go. Would you go see Sen? He wants to give you a physical or something, you know, just, just see how you're doing. I think he's in his workshop. Set. He knows as well as I do. What I got, he can't cure. I'm a man with too many problems. And well, I suppose if you got a very, 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 very painful ear injury, I suppose blotting it out with music also, well, it helps, but it kind of just feels like it might make it worse in some cases. But whatever, Wyatt, you do whatever the hell you want. You're. You're a good kid, Wyatt. You're a good kid. I know you can't hear a goddamn word I'm saying, but you're a good kid. You can lead this resistance. I believe in you. Just don't start doing drugs, even though I know you're gonna start doing drugs. So it's probably gonna be up to me to just kind of do everything and... Well, as long as everything involves shooting Nazis, I can handle that. But, now, since it is launch day, and I do want to get these, these videos out to you at, you know, or start getting them out to you... Today? Or rather, well, launch day, or as quickly as possible. I'm gonna take a break here and stop so I can edit all of this. This is... This is fun. I mean, this is pretty much just Wolfenstein The New Order with a little bit more graphical polish with the ridiculousness jacked up to 11. Or rather, maintained at 11, really. So I'm having fun and I think this is gonna be a good game. But until next time, I've been your wonderful host, Fontaman, and I'll see you later.